So over the next few days, I hope we'll all take full advantage of this summit to make new connections and spark new partnerships. Because every step we take to deepen our cooperation, to launch a new venture, to tackle the challenges and impact on all of us, is a step toward realization of the enormous potential of our Asian Pacific future. So much to talk about uh, on climate, on growing our economy, on increasing trade, on uh, helping our citizens with affordability. There's uh, so many things on which we're aligned from uh, standing up for people's rights to making sure we've got a more inclusive, pluralistic society. These are, these are things where we align and it's uh, just uh, so glad to be back in California, so glad to, to catch up with you and uh, talk about everything that we have to do. So we've been taking action at home in Canada. We sent a grocery rebate to millions of people who need support. We've called on the country's largest grocers to stabilize prices and we're holding them to account looking at ways to strengthen Canada's Competition Act so consumers are always getting a fair choice. <coughs> but we know people are also worried about continuing to get and afford nutritious food. So it's in this context that we're all here to look at how we can lower costs for consumers. In Canada, we take a lot of pride in growing the crops and raising the livestock that feed the world. I know here in California, you are incredibly proud, and rightly so of the abundant fresh food you grow in places like the Salinas Valley. So let's partner all of this with the innovative mindset of tech leaders from both Canada and Silicon Valley.